In this video, we will talk about what does the course cover. You'll notice that the course is broken down into five major sections. What is MongoDB? Installation and configuration. Create, read, update, and delete operations. Data modeling. And database management. Let's go back to the first major section. In this section, we cover topics such as what is meant by NoSQL? Why would you want to use MongoDB? What are some common MongoDB terms? The various features of MongoDB, something called aggregation, and then of course a lab to match the topics of the chapter. In the installation and configuration section, we first cover some general considerations. We then show you installation on the Windows platform, followed by an installation on the Mac platform. For Linux, we've broken it down into Debian and Ubuntu, followed by a section on Red Hat, CentOS, and Fedora Linux. We then have a series of chapters on the programming language drivers, starting with C, C++, and C Sharp, JavaScript, Python, and Ruby, and then we cover Java, PHP, Perl, and others. We then have a video on various management tools which are available for MongoDB. There's also a video on MongoDB configuration, import, and export. We then cover the built-in MongoDB shell, which is based on JavaScript, and we talk about accessing, inserting, and finding information. And finally, again, for the shell, we talk about updating, removing, and functions. And then for the lab, we have instructions, followed by a solution. In the lab, you will be installing MongoDB and the PHP driver. For CRUD operations, we will first talk about queries. There will be an overview, followed by a discussion of something called the cursor. We will then talk about query modifications, which include operations such as sorting and placing limits on the results of your queries. We then talk about how to add information to MongoDB, adding a database, a collection, and an individual document. We then talk about adding information in the form of arrays and objects, including embedding objects. We also have a very good discussion on the underscore ID field, which is automatically generated by MongoDB. In terms of updates, we first cover basic document updates following that with a separate discussion on updating arrays and individual fields. We then talk about how to delete documents. And again, as before, we have the lab instructions followed by the lab solutions. For the purposes of the class, we've designed a fake website called Suites Complete. The Suites Complete website, as it stands currently, operates entirely using CSV files. As part of the lab, you will be rewriting the code to have it work on MongoDB instead. For data modeling, we talk about one-to-one -one relationships, the manual approach, and the embedded approach. We also talk about something called a DBref. For one-to-many relationships, there is first an overview, then a video on using the normalized approach, which mimics a relational database environment, using the embedded approach, which is unique to NoSQL databases, and finally, the dbref approach. Lastly, we talk about tree structures, giving you an overview, and then discussing using parent references, followed by child references. And then, as before, we have a lab on modeling the Suites Complete website for administrative purposes. The last section is on database management. There's a section on database security, which includes an overview, how to add database and user administrators, managing database users, and then authenticating and handling authentication-related errors. The next subsection is on replication. We talk about adding the first member to a replica set and then adding one or more secondaries. We then discuss how to reconfigure or remove members from the replica set. Lastly, in this subsection is a section on replica set troubleshooting. Next, we talk about a concept called sharding. Sharding is where a single collection is spread across multiple servers. We also go through a demonstration on how to implement sharding. 
And finally, indexing and performance considerations. We talk about how to implement an index and how to improve the performance of your MongoDB system. We then cover backup and restore, and finally, monitoring MongoDB. As before, there's a lab where you'll be managing MongoDB by establishing database users and also creating indexes, replica sets, and sharding.